Hey guys, today I'm going to show you the screen fracture effect or the RGB split um, as promised. So um, let's get straight into it. What you want to do is get your song and get your video. Then what you want to do is mark out the areas in which you want to add the effect. So um, I've got mine on these four beats here. There. So I'm going to add them um, and add a marker by pressing the M key like that. And then I've got another one here another one there another one there and there right okay now what you want to do is add a video track up above like so and uh, just scroll across from your last uh, beat to about somewhere about there just so that you can add in the last effect here so and um, what we want to do is you want to hold control and drag and drop it up whoop, up onto the line above and just get rid of that one like so. Um, if you want to split the audio and your video from each other uh, then just press the U key and then press delete and delete your audio. So as you can see you've got the exact same video above but what we're going to do is we're going to split each individual piece um, on the top video track so we can create this effect. So split them by pressing the S key like so. Let's get rid of that and that and obviously there isn't a beat there so I could delete that last one right now what we want to do is you want to go up to project properties and add the stereoscopic 3D mode and add it to red cyan apply and ok and what you'll notice is that the video goes a bit uh, well basically a bit grey so what you want to do is go into color corrector secondary scroll down go to boost mids add it to the bottom video my bad, I'm going to add it to the whole video track add it to the bottom video and just boost up the saturation about to about 2.5 2.6 um, and basically it will just boost the quality and it's the same with the top video track just boost it up as well to about the same so 2.6 I had out there and as you can see it comes back so now we're going to add the effect so go on event pan crop click the mask button highlight it and make sure your anchor creation tool is selected now what you want to do is add like a shard or like a, like a, a spike or you can even have like straight one straight bars and so on and as you can see on here um, you've got obviously the triangle um, go on to position go in about two or three frames crop it in and what you'll see on here is that it's cropped on there and then go to the end frame and then just go up to the arrow and press default and it'll set it back to normal then what you want to do is add the stereoscopic 3D mode um, 3D adjust sorry um, I've got a preset so you could copy mine and drag it on and what you'll see is if I go in two frames so it's popping out like a shard there so um, you can have a little look at my settings here I haven't got any floating windows no so it's 1 1.37, 1 1.37, 11 and then 1.4 to one so you know my settings aren't crazy but it does the effect really well then you go on to the second one again event pan crop go on to the mask and add it somewhere else on the video I'm gonna add it there and do the same again go on to position go about two frames in or a frame crop it in and then go to the last frame do default um, and again add your stereoscopic 3D adjust and it's just going to basically do that effect again and you just basically keep doing this and then obviously what you're going to get is you're going to have it synced up with your music um, with like beats um, and it looks really nice um, that's basically it guys if this video helped you then comment, rate, subscribe um, obviously the next tutorials are going to be like the invisible gun, transparent gun um, things like that so comment, rate, subscribe and I'll catch you guys later